Hello, everybody, and welcome to Professor P's podcast. I'm Natasha Palumbo, aka Professor P. I'm known for evoking the essence of spirituality by bringing the energetic fire, activating the mind, and speaking the truth. I'm so honored that you are here with us today. I thank you for joining. This podcast is focused on entrepreneurship, empowerment, and energetics. You're going to find a wealth of information inside, guest speakers, and the elixir, a dose of energetic power. So let us join in on today's podcast. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Professor P's podcast. I am so excited and grateful that you're here with me today. Thank you so much for being here. I always appreciate all the feedback that I get. And I want to tell you, you know, last week I gave you the mini quantum physics lessons and one message came over and it was like, wow, that was really deep, Professor P. And then I had a message come through. I have a very dear friend who's a doctor in the East Coast. And I knew when I saw the voice text come through that it was that she had listened to the podcast. And I was thinking to myself, oh, wow, I hope I delivered the quantum physics up to, you know, the level it needed to be. And so I was delighted when I heard the feedback of how she had heard quantum physics being delivered by other motivational speakers, but it did not come across as, well, it wasn't well translated, as she said. I have the gift of translation. And again, I, I scored. So I'm now doctor approved. So thank you so much. I'm now doctor approved. And I'm really excited and honored to be doctor approved. And tying in from last week, I mentioned about how quantum physics feeds into and really helps expand our wealth. So I thought, how fitting would it be to come and talk to you today about wealth consciousness and how it is your birthright? It is a divine birthright that we have in the land of the living that is ours and that has unfortunately been stolen and we have negated going after it because we just are not aware sometimes, but we all have consciousness. We all have a conscience. We all, we all have that. Okay. And we all have birthrights and wealth is a birthright. Please understand that wealth is a birthright and it is a mindset, but I want you to first understand what money is. You've probably heard me talk a little bit before in other podcast episodes about money a little bit. I do touch on it. It is something that I feel is very, very important to teach on and to teach correctly on. So money, what is it? Who knows what it is? <laughs> this is a good one for the class. This is a good one for the, everybody should raise their hands at this one. Let me see. Every, ah, everybody raised their hand. Everybody knows kind of what money is. It's paper. It's electronic. It's coins. Ah, yeah, it's all those things. But really, here's what it is. Money is energy. It is a frequency. And it's neutral. Some say that it's neutral. So there's some who believe it's neutral. There's some who believe that it holds a more feminine aspect. It loves to be treated well. It loves to be converted into things. It loves to be appreciated. It does not like to be suffocated. It will then suffocate itself. If it does, it will lose its flow. And it's meant to flow. It's meant to move. Money is the body of value. In other words, it's what we the observer, place value in things, but that value can change interchangeably. And really, the value is within us. That's what it is. We give value to material things. Physical paper money doesn't even represent money in full. Listen to me. It cannot reasonably do that. Do you understand? Only 4% of the money in banks that exist is in physical form. 4%. Just imagine how much material it would take to make money in the world, all the money in the world. Do you understand? It would, that we have, we'd have no room for it. So again, only 4% of all the money that exists in the world, only 4% of it is actually tangible money, is actually physical money. 96% of the money that exists in the world is air. <laughs> Let me 
it's, let me get my, let me get myself together here. It's air. It's what we believe it is. It's a system. And actually, if you track this back to the banking in the early banking days, when they didn't believe in the system, it broke. You understand? The only reason the system has not broken is we believe in it. We believe in it. You understand? We believe in the system. All right, here we go. Money is just a shadow of something else. And the first step to wealth is to know what money really is or more accurately, what it represents. Do not look at the shadow. It is unwise and unhealthy. Look instead at the value within you and within people around you and the flowing exchange of the value between people. Our internal value is what creates money. I'm going to let that set for a minute. Hmm. Our internal value is what creates money. Wow. This is why it's so important, my friends, to build up and to understand that you actually have intrinsic value. Develop your internal value in yourself and help others develop it in themselves. Help bring knowledge to yourself to empower yourself. That's what I'm all about. I'm all about you getting this for yourself. That's why I wanted you to set last time and really soak in what I was telling you last week and to really dive deeply into your studies. Everything that I bring to you is for you to dive more deeply into your studies because you got to get this for yourself. Remember that money is only an aspect of a person's internal value, but that does not mean it represents the person's entire value. Because we have intrinsic value. There is no dollar amount that could ever be placed on us. There is no past, present, or future event that dictates our value. We are endless with our value. We are made by God and our value is given to us by God. And wealth consciousness is available to all. Mm. Wealth consciousness is available to all. I'm saying it again. This is not a respect of persons. Wealth consciousness isn't a respect of persons because God is not a respect of persons. It can be developed by and within all people equally. Wealth consciousness is free to all, but you can choose to develop it or not. You can choose to develop it or not. See, it's up to you. You've got to pick up yourself. You've got to go out there and get this for yourself. You've got to develop yourself. Choose to seek knowledge in these areas. Choose to take these keys that I'm giving you and become empowered with them. You have a rightful place of abundance by birthright. You were born in the land of the living. You have rights in the land of the living. And you have what's called birthrights. Wealth is one of them. Wealth consciousness is simply the expansion of your consciousness and awareness into the wealthy parts of yourself. Oh, Professor P, I don't really feel wealthy inside, though. I don't, I didn't come from wealth and I don't have even an understanding and I really don't feel wealthy inside. I don't. Do you not understand, dear one, that you are handmade by God? All the wealth is already in you and this world lives off of poverty and oppression, which makes it very big business. Controlled thought makes the most money. So I understand that you may not feel wealthy within, but I'm here to tell you today that you are. You're a wealthy woman. You're a wealthy man. You're a wealthy person because you're a child of God. You've been chosen to come forward. Each and every soul has been chosen to come forward here. And by that birthing process into this world, you have wealth within you. You have more wealth capacity in you than you could possibly experience in a lifetime. This is what I'm telling you last time in the quantum physics lesson. There's so much there. In this lifetime, you have more wealth already in you than you will ever experience in this lifetime. Whew, 
Here it comes. You will have that cup that overflows. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. That's what I want you to understand. You will have and already do have the cup that overflows. And so you will leave it because let me tell you what, you have an ability to leave wealth as an inheritance for your children. But what I want you to leave the most is good character and faith and empowerment. No longer are we passing along a generation of conditioning and a legacy of conditioning. You can pass on recipes, but stop passing on oppression. Stop passing on conditioning and start passing on empowerment. Start leaving a legacy of empowerment, my friends, because it is in that that our people will rise up. It is in that that our heirs will be able to have less resistance to the fight of what's already theirs because I promise you they're going to have a fight of their own. Let this not be it right here. Let them not have to carry on the generational curses any more, any longer. Let them no longer carry that. Allow them to come forward in the freedom of empowerment. You can pass on your recipes. I promise you, apple dumplings are going to continue to be in my family's legacy. (sighs) But the conditioning? Oh, no. I'm building up free thinkers. I'm building up free minds. I am almost commanding that to take place in my lineage. I'm setting the stage for it by ripping my own self apart and destroying my own DNA and reconstructing it with the higher purpose cells, the imageable cells like the butterfly. And I am restoring everything that was lost in my lineage and I am coupling it together and I am going to pass it on like a baton to the next. And I believe and trust in what they will do with it. Like I said before, I'm a good person. The more money I have, the more good I get to do. You understand? Money is here to help you. And you need not worry about how you're going to convert your wealth consciousness into money. It will automatically happen. What you have to do is every day study in your mind to build up wealth consciousness. And by natural progression, that wealth consciousness is going to produce before you money, experiences, trips, leisure, luxury, philanthropy, giving, gifts. Oh, my friends, it's endless with what it's going to produce. Everything is energy. Everything has energy. And the energy with which you do a thing, please pay attention, the energy with which you do a thing determines the outcome of that thing. Meaning this, the intention, please be intentional with your work, please be intentional with your thought. Meaning this, expectation and emotion in which you do a thing has more to do with the result of that action than you have allowed yourself to fully realize. Please understand this, meaning the intention, expectation, and emotion in which you do a thing has more to do with the result of that action than you have allowed yourself to realize. You are able to embody various energies. Energy is created through emotions, words, visualization, or imagination through holding intentions. When you choose to think thoughts, and feel feelings, you are now vibrating at that frequency. This is why I say when you begin to create your vision board and you begin to set with that vision, I need you to feel it. I need you to produce your thoughts in alignment with it so that it crystallizes form before you because everything has a frequency. Money has a frequency. As you vibrate at a frequency of more money coming to you, the easier you will create more of that reality limiting beliefs around money. I want us to discuss that right now. And I want you to take a piece of paper out as I begin to close up my last little bit of time with you. We're going to get to the root today because the root is the limiting belief you have around money. So right now, I want you to begin to write on your paper, what is it that you were taught about money? What did you learn? Did you learn that money was evil? Oh, you're so evil. Uh, uh, Or money, people with money, with lots of money do really bad things. Uh, 
I can't do that. Or you just shunned from money, you scared of money, or you didn't really know what to do with money and you just, we just had enough to get by. See, we got to get to the root of these things because I'm after the root cause in almost everything there is because it's the root that has to be removed. And I want to plant a new seed today, a seed of safety in who we truly are. We are living off borrowed identities. I told you that. And we are living off borrowed belief systems and we are living off borrowed hand-me-down jackets. I need you to take those jackets off right now. You are here at the tailor shop. You are about to get a very fit, tailored, brand new jacket just for you. So right now on your paper, I want you to begin to write down all your limiting beliefs around money. I will never have money. My family didn't have money. I have to save for a rainy day. And all of a sudden, then there's a rainy day. There's only enough money is that whatever it is. What did you believe? Did you believe that there was only a certain amount? Did you believe that it was bad to have money, to hold money, that you only had to have used things? You didn't need the new things? Where you you just get enough and that's it. We just have enough and that's it. What was it that was taught to you? What was taught to you? Where was the limiting beliefs in your family? Did you have to work yourself to the bone to make money? Was it bad to have more than enough? Write it down all the limiting beliefs you have around money. Spend some time doing this. I really want you to set and pour all of this out. There is no such thing as a fixed income. Mm. We in this world have capped ourselves. One day I'm walking through campus and I realize I have this epiphany and I'm walking through campus and it's a beautiful bright day and it's buzzing with energy with their backpacks on and their earbuds and I can see them chittering and chattering with each other and their energy's so wonderful. I love campus life. There's so much going on, people outside, clubs outside and I'm walking through and I'm just enjoying the presence of the campus. But I have an epiphany. I say, oh my God, even here in an institution of higher education, I, as a professor, am capped at my salary. And I thought to myself, oh no, can't be, can't do it. I'm going to stay here and I'm going to continue to be Professor P. But what I am is I am Natasha M. Palumbo, the daughter of the Most High God. Do you understand me? I was not meant to be capped because I am an everlasting, never-ending spirit, free-floating. And I have full authority to live in the abundance and in my full birthright of wealth. And wealth more abundantly. I get that because God says in his words, I will give you wealth. I will fill your houses with treasure. That is word. That is scripture. God says, I have made myself poor so that you will be rich. I have stored up riches for you to cast them on you at the right time. Do you understand? I want you to get this today. I need you to get this today. Money is meant to be used to enjoy life, to be utilized, to be celebrated. Do not shame yourself for wanting more money. Shame never works. Forcing something doesn't change your energetic state. If you've saved up your money, but you don't feel worthy of it, you will manifest some wildly outrageous event to spend it on and then indicate it as evidence it was a good thing you had that savings AKA the rainy day savings, because you never felt worthy of it to begin with. And if you have any trauma root like myself, you battle with worth because that is what they were after. Because this world didn't feel worthy. It came after the innocent and it pulled the worth out of them. But I'm here to tell you today that you are worthy, that you have intrinsic value. Go look that up. Go look that up and really set and meditate with that. Now, as I leave you with this today, all of us have energetic minimums and maximums. After you set with your limiting beliefs, I want you to then write to yourself what you believe about money now. I am wealthy. I am abundant. Money is my friend. Money is here to help me. The more money I have, the more good I get to do. I want you to just go with it, go with it, go with it, and create 
all the good statements you can about money is free floating. The more money I have, the more good I'm going to get to do in this world, the more people I'm going to get to have, the more I get to help myself and my family. There is nothing wrong with having money. Money is a resource. Money is an abundance to me. Money is mine by birthright. And then I want you to realize what your energetic minimums and maximums are. These are the amounts of money you cannot imagine earning less than or more than. There is an amount of money we never let our accounts go below. And there is also, even this is even if this is negative, okay, it can go negative, but you'll never let it go below a certain negative amount. And there is also a number on our account that doesn't go above because of our belief. Our worth is all wrapped into this. What is your energetic set point? Is it at never having enough or is it having just enough or is it set to overflow or having way more than enough? I want you not to just have overflow. I want you to have way more than enough. I want you to have so much that you are continuously flowing and growing. I want to see your wealth increase and not just money, your wealth in every aspect of your life because you are worthy inside. It is only after you open up to limitless possibilities. Quantum physics, my friends. This is why I set the stage last week. And things going different for you that you notice and are presented with or that you find motivation to go after opportunities. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to set right now with your energetic minimum and maximum. And I'm going to reset it. Okay, here's something we're going to do right now. I want you to take your piece of paper. I want you to write down the number. Write it all out, okay? I need all the numbers out. I want to. I want you to write down the number of the income you want to see this year or next year. Let's even start with next year. We're starting to close out. We're almost into quarter four. So let's just go ahead and say, what money do you want to make next year? What is it? Write the whole, all the numbers out. Write it all out, okay? Write all the numbers out. Do it right now. Write it all out. What income do you want to see next year? Write it all out. I'm going to give you a minute to do that. Do you have it written out? Yeah? Some of you? Some of you are going to come back because you're driving or you're listening to me. Come back. It's okay. I want you to come back. But right now in your head before you come back, I want you to write it in your head. I want you to visualize it in your head. If you're not in a place where you're able to write this down because you're listening and so you're going to hear what comes next and I need you to be activated, either you're writing it down or you're thinking it through right now. I want you to write out or think in your head all the numbers, see all the digits of what income you want to make next year. You got it in your head? You got it on paper? Take a deep breath with me. Hold it. Blow it out. Take a deep breath with me. Hold it. Blow it out. One more time. Deep breath. Hold it. Blow it out. Add a zero in your head. Add a zero on paper. Add a zero to the end of that. Add a zero to, yeah, that, yes. Add it in your head, yes. Yes, we just did that, yes. Do you see the number? Set with it for a minute. I just reset your energetic maximum and minimum. I took the maximum that you had and I made it your minimum. And I gave you a new maximum. Old ceilings become new floors, my friend. Old ceilings become new floors. And that's what just happened today. Now, here is something that is extremely important. Are you open to receiving this? Are you open? I'm looking. I'm feeling. Are you open? Are you open? Are you open? I can feel you. Wow, I can feel you, everyone. Thank you. I love you all so much. Thank you for receiving this message today. Thank you for activating your own consciousness today by my voice. Thank you, God, for the power of this voice that you've given me, this gift 
of translation. Listen, my friends, set with that today. And if you struggle at that number and you're like, I don't know, then I need you to go back and set a little deeper with your limiting beliefs. Because I can guarantee you, as I am living this day on September 23rd, which is when I recorded this podcast of 2022, that you will see that number and far greater. Trust God. Stop waiting for things to happen and start watching for them to happen. Live in a place of inspired action. Inspired action is you doing your part. It can feel like a nudge, an idea, an aha moment, an oh shit, what if I really did it this way? Inspired action can lead you to people to speak to with who you exactly need because they have exactly what you need. And remember, grace will bring in all the unseen pieces you do not know about. The unseen things that you need. I want you to understand that you have intrinsic value, that you have rights to wealth consciousness by divine birthright. Your homework is to continue to journal daily, to meditate and to use visualization, to speak life and the abundance over your life. And I want you to use movement to help you manifest. Stop worrying about when it's going to happen. By default, your wealth consciousness will grow by you studying through knowledge, which is power, by you speaking life, by you taking the root and disrooting it from yourself and planting a seed of safety, which we did yet again today, by continuing to be a scholar and a student and by studying and by setting in and by receiving what is rightfully yours. You are abundant. You are wealthy. And most importantly, my friends, you are worthy. You are worthy because you are. Now I need you to go out there and I need you to pick up everything that belongs to you. And if you need a little pick me up of a meditation, you go back and listen to my meditation week episode and you just fast forward it to the end because I give you that abundant meditation and that will even beautifully pair nicely with today's episode. And I do promise you, I have more meditations coming. So keep watch for those. But as for now, you have been activated. And remember, it is up to you to unlock the door. Thanks everyone for listening today. I hope you received a lot out of that episode and are feeling energized and ready for whatever lies ahead. If you did enjoy it, I'd appreciate it if you'd share it out. Thank you in advance for doing so. Please also connect with me on social media, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, Natasha M. Palumbo. And until next time, be encouraged, be empowered, and as always, be well.